given a vertex 4 comma negative 1 and or find the equation of the parabola through the point 2 comma 3. Huh, huh. Good one, right? Before I get into this, I want to kind of do a quick little review of linear equations. What do we do when we have a linear equation? Let's say I give you the slope equal to 2. And I'm totally making this up, so I don't even know if it's going to work. And let's pick a point, negative 1, 3. All right. Remember, if I say find the equation, find the linear equation of a line that has a slope 2 and a point, what we like to do is we can use the point slope method. Well, the point slope equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And what we do is we plug in 2 for our slope, right, because m represents slope. And then we plug negative 1, 3, because remember, a point on a line, um, a line is made up of infinite many points. So if I'm given a point, I can plug that in for x and y. And in point slope form, I'm going to plug my x and y in for x1 and y1. So what I do is I write y minus, I guess leave that down there, y minus y3 equals 2 times x minus a negative 1. Then what we do is we simplify, right? So we do distributive property. So that's 2 times x, which is 2x. And then we have, that's going to be a positive 1. 2 times positive 1 is 2. y minus 3. Add 3, add 3. My equation is 2x plus 5. Right? So we take our given, we plug it into the equation. We also take our other given, in which is a point, and we plug it in for x and y. Well, guess what? This problem is almost identical, well not identical, but it's parallel to the same type of process. So what we're given is we're given a vertex and we're given a point. Now we need to determine what are we going to plug that into. So we've talked about two different ways to define a quadratic. Here's our definition of a quadratic and here's our standard form. And I think whenever we started introducing standard form, we always praise standard form because it's so easy to find the vertex. The vertex is hk, right? So what do you think is going to be the easiest form to use for this? If I want to find out the equation of my parabola, I'm going to want to plug in my vertex for h comma k. hk right there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug in a negative 1 for, uh, for k and a 4 in for h. So I have a times x minus 4 squared plus a negative 1. All right. Now, and that equals f of x. Now, the next important thing is, all right, so that tells us there. That doesn't give us the full equation, though. We still need to figure out what a is. And how can we represent x and f of x? Well, remember, f of x is the same thing as like y, but we're talking about functions for this problem. But our f of x represents our output value, which is equivalent to, our, uh, to a y. And you might want to even change it to a y. That might help you out understand a little bit more about it. But anyways, you can see that I have my point, which is you know a coordinate point. And guess what? A parabola is like a line, meaning that it's made up of infinite many points. It takes a different shape, but it's still made up of infinite many points. So I can plug in my coordinate point for x and y. Or if, since we're dealing with a function, x and f of x. So that's exactly what you do. You plug 3 in for f of x. You still don't know a. Then we do 2 minus 4 squared. Plus a negative 1 is the same thing as minus 1. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Squared is going to be 4. I'll rewrite the 4 in front of the a, minus 1. Add 1. 4 equals 4a. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. a equals 1. So now we know the value of a. We're just going to plug it now all into my equation, uh, into this equation, because we know the vertex, and we can leave it there. So my a is 1, so I have f of x equals 1. We actually don't even need to write it. Then we just have x minus 4 uh, minus 1 squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you write an equation when given a point and a vertex. Thanks.